zero point any value depending on the the kind of accuracy you need for your job and then you can decide to do what you stop the positioning you can decide to do what you stop the position so we are actually having 1.1 to 1.1 it's even getting to good we are having this one point so depend on your location if you are in a, if you are in a very open area you see that the accuracy will be very good and you get we have zero point good so we can decide to stop the positioning upon stopping it we can see different icons at the bottom of the word of the screen you see four yeah the third one that has a plus sign that shows that you can do what you can store the point so you what you click on it by the time you click on it, it will ask you to indicate your point level. So if maybe you want to call it station 1.1 or building 1 or maybe peg 1, anything you want to call it, you just edit and you put it there. But we are going to use 1 here as it is what as it is used on the application. So you what you say good, which is save. So that first point has been saved. You can decide to move to another point, you know, as much as you want to acquire on this in particular, maybe on the particular exercise that you are carrying out. You start the accurate positioning again. You make sure that um, your device is um, steady and the rest of that. And then upon doing that, you can decide to do what? You can decide to wait for the accuracy to come down. Then the accuracy value to come down, which is actually increasing the accuracy. Then you decide to do what? You stop. Upon stopping, you store the next point as two. You can do the same thing, you move to another point, maybe, let's just say we, we move to the third point, or let's say the fourth point, you just move, you start the accurate um, positioning, you start the accurate positioning, and then when your level of accuracy, the level of accuracy you need, you've got in it, you can just stop it, and then upon stopping it, okay, let's start this um, positioning again, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So let's say we stop on this new point and then we allow it to we allow it to initialize or we allow the accuracy to get um, more refined and then before we stop it. We're actually on 1.0, 1.0, we're going to 0. Point something, then we can decide to stop. So we have 0. 0.9, so by the time we stop, we can do what? We can save the point as what? As point 3. So we have 3 points already saved. So how do you know the number of points you have saved? So depending on the number of points you want to acquire. So you now look at the fourth icon here, still at the bottom here, you see that, you see the 3 points that you've loaded. Are we together? Good. So now, on these three points, we also look at on the, at the bottom of the screen now, you can see eight icons here. And on these eight icons, the last one here actually visualizes the points that you've acquired. So by the time you tap it, you would see that the points that you've acquired will appear on what? On what? A Google map. So appear on a Google map. Then you can decide to close it. We're actually acquiring a um, point on a straight line, so that's why you can see it like that. The next thing is what the seventh icon you see there, because we say we have it at the bottom there, will help you calculate area. Maybe if it's a polygon shape or stuff like that, you can actually calculate the area there in square meter. Are we together? That's what you can do there. Now, the next thing is that if you want to export the point. You know, if you want to export the point, maybe the three points you've acquired, you want to export it, maybe save it on your system or maybe on your phone, you later move it to your system or the rest of that. So you touch or maybe you click on.
perform the conversion and then you see how it goes so we've actually seen that the next thing we want to show us is um this um drive me this drive me is more like um you want to locate a point to find it as we have shown you on the what as we have shown you on the on the application this interface you just come here it will just show you okay load the points how they are located on google map are we together how they are located on google map then that's of the area the adding point so now this is the second icon here is if you want to delete all the points here actually what you see here is um on each of the points, point one, point two, point three, their latitude, longitude, and altitude, eastern, northern, and height for the different um, reference datum is actually given WGS eighty four and then the MINA datum or MINA zone thirty one to thirty.